how to cut a 180 degree flare. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Chukeruka Yaku. On this channel, I'll basically be teaching you tutorials on how to sew and cut your clothes and achieve beautiful styles you still you see on Instagram. If you like that kind of content, please hit the subscribe button and also follow me on my Instagram. You can send me a DM there asking me for whatever you need on the sewing channel and I will be glad to respond to you. So today we'll be talking about how to cut your peplum base, be it for your gown, your jacket, whatever you need peplum for. So for peplums, there are different kinds of peplums. There are there is the one that is cut by 360. The one that is cut by 360 means that it's a full complete circle. And then there is 720, that's double circle. So the curls on the I'll be leaving pictures here so you can see them. The curls on the on the peplum are more than the one of the 360. And then there is the one of 1440. So that one is more curly. The basic measurements you'll be needing for this. Are your waist circumference and your peplum length the desired length you want it to be if you have that please bring out your scissors and your tailor strap and we'll go right into cutting it to cut your 180 degree flare so first of all we'll get the radius to get the radius it's your waist circumference plus your allowances divided by 3.14 your waist circumference plus your allowances divided by 3.14 my allowances are half and one inch half inch for joining one inch for the ease so i'll add two inches the two inches waist circumference to the half inch and the one inch for the allowances divided by 3.14 now that will give me 3.5 divided by 3.14 which is equal to 1.1 my radius now is 1.1 after deriving your radius the next thing you want to do is to get your fabric or your pattern paper and fold into two like so after folding into two you want to fold diagonally keeping this the folded edge into the fabric as seen in the picture in the video above now you are going to take your tape roll and measure your radius that you now have around like i am doing you measure your radius around from the sharp point of your triangle from the pointy edge of your triangle around it it should be in form of an angle not a straight line after that you connect the dots using a curved ruler as you can see my my paper is quite small it's for illustration so i can just connect the dots with my free hand now from there from the the connected dots where you, that where you have your waist measurement you take your tape and measure the desired length you want round two just the way you took the circumference for my desired length i am using two and a half inches around after that i will connect the dots like so connecting my dots after connecting my dots i can now leave my half inch it's this part is optional you may add your half inch to your length to the length you just measured or you can measure out your half inch separately as your hemming allowance to use to hem the bottom of your skirt or if you want one inch you can add your one inch but you can see my illustration paper is quite small so i am using half of an inch now the next thing is to cut it i am cutting it right through the the pointy edge notice that that place unfold 
still remains the same. After cutting the fabric off, you can leave half an inch or one inch allowance, half an inch allowance above the circumference to use to join the peplum flare to whatever you are joining it to. After that, you cut it round and then cut the tip round too. I've gone ahead to cut it and I'm showing you how it looks now. Then this is how it looks after joining. I joined with the masking tape because it's paper for you to see. But this is the fullness of the skirt. This is how to cut a 180 degree flare peplum or 180 degree flare skirt. If you like this video and want more tutorials, please subscribe. Also let me know in the comment section what you would like me to do next. See you. Bye.